Hi Molly, my name is John Paul Marks. I'm the Permanent Secretary of the Scottish Government and it's good to see you today. Perfect. Well, thank you for sitting down with us, taking cool. you away from the discussions. Very sorry, but we'll, we'll get you back very soon. Sounds good. Um, so could you tell us what is, uh, could you tell us a little bit about your role? What is the Permanent Secretary um, and what's the executive team of the Scottish Government? So as the Permanent Secretary of the Scottish Government, I've got kind of three roles. One is to advise the First Minister and the Cabinet who run the government. Uh, second thing is to kind of manage the budget and to provide them with uh, advice to ensure they're balancing their budget and delivering value for money for Scotland's taxpayers. And the third thing is to lead the civil service team in the Scottish Government. So, you know, recruiting the right people, training, all those kind of things. Yeah. Um, in terms of the executive team, the government is organised uh, in a set of portfolios, we call them. So health and social care, for example, economy, net zero. And uh, each of them has a senior leader and they form our executive team. And we meet every week and we'll talk about, as I say, things like the budget, the programme for government. We might be looking at risk. We might be meeting with the children and youth parliaments in Scotland uh, yeah. as we are today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the best, the best one of the all. best, the best chance. 100%. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so very important job. Um, so we're very grateful for you taking your time to um, come be here with us. Um, why is it important to hold events like today, like bringing voice of children and young people into the work of the Scottish Government? Ultimately, the Scottish Government is trying to deliver our national outcomes. So that greener, fairer, more prosperous Scotland. And we're only going to do that if we properly listen to feedback from across uh, Scotland, whether that be highland and rural communities or whether it's listening to the voices of young people. We've got to be confident that our policy development, our legislation, the changes that we're delivering will affect the communities that we care most about. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, we're continually building a country uh, with the capabilities it needs to succeed in the future and so the issues that we care deeply about and the first minister has set out a number of those recently about eradicating child poverty about growing our economy about achieving net zero we know those are some of the most important issues that matter to our young people in scotland but we've got to listen to their feedback to understand what do we actually do to affect some of the behavior changes that we're going to need to, for example, move towards driving electric cars or using public transport more or eating our homes differently. So, yeah, these these events are really essential. We've been doing them regularly now um, because they're not a one off. It's a constant conversation and we try and always conclude with a set of tangible changes that we'll make based on feedback. So our young people can be confident that their feedback is driving change. And that's really important to me. Uh, and I'm sure we'll conclude again today with some actions that we'll then feed back to the Cabinet on in the autumn this year. Yeah, definitely. Um, I see you've got your lovely name badge that yes. the members of the Children's Parliament yeah. have made for you. Um, what is another thing that you're going to take away from today? So I think we are getting into some, some crunchy subjects today. Uh, we'll no doubt uh, talk about mental health, about youth work, around gender-based violence, uh, intersectionality. So these are complex subjects and our young people have really engaged in their research and their consultation to bring forward their ideas. So for me, it is about digesting that into the government's plan and giving the opportunity for my teams to use that research in the way in which they advise their ministers. So I'll, I'll take out of today, I hope, a set of actions that I can confidently um, see my teams take forward with their ministers. Ministers will be looking to us as civil servants to be doing this engagement regularly. Mm -hmm. uh, but one of the things we are continually working on is integrating uh, young people's engagement into the policy development process as a constant. So it's not once a quarter, it's not once a year, it is it is sort of becomes more normalised and routine. Uh, so we've just been talking in that last meeting about our, our climate reform teams and bringing uh, colleagues into that uh, governance process. Um, uh, so I hope we'll keep making progress there as well on the on the routine integration of young people's voice and feedback into into policy development. Perfect. 
Thank you. Um,